I'd like to touch on Peacekeeper level 1. I think Peacekeeper is a super useful trader if used correctly. I would recommend selling guns to him early to start building up dollars and start building up your amount of money that you've spent with him. So firstly, we I just want to touch on dollars, just in case you guys don't know. So dollars, you can trade for rubles. But essentially, this is Peacekeeper's currency that he operates in, so make sure that you purchase these if you don't have any, or sell some of your items to him to obtain these dollars so you can purchase his stock. Okay, the first actual item I want to touch on is the M9A3 Beretta. I think this pistol is super underrated, very powerful pistol. I have tons of clips of me taking people down with this pistol. Uh, it's just very powerful if used correctly with the PST GZH ammo at a good price. And this is also a good way to build up your bent money with him to get to Peacekeeper level 2. Next I'd like to touch on the M67 grenade. So this is actually a very expensive grenade I've found. Uh, but you can trade for it for two Zippo lighters. And so I'd recommend you hold on to those lighters for this grenade. Next, I'd like to touch on the Fast Fire, Burris Fast Fire. Uh, this is a red dot sight when combined with the base at, for $16 and itself running at $160. It is a slightly expensive but very useful red dot sight. It fits on a lot of different mounts because it's very small. Next, I'd like to touch on the CAC foregrip. This pistol grip is just a general useful grip that you can go ahead and toss on if you have a slot for a foregrip. At $31, I totally recommend it if you have the spot for it. Okay, Peacekeeper level 2. This is one of those that really changed the game for me. So firstly, I want to point out that you can now buy an M4A1. Congratulations. You can buy this thing for $554. This is one of my favorite guns in the game. So I hope you've been building up dollars just getting to this level 2 and you will have some to spend on this M4. It's honestly reasonably priced and very effective for what it is. Next is the Untar helmet and body. These are reasonably priced for being armor class 3. I would also recommend them. You are a bit visible with them so beware but honestly they're very protective so I'd recommend you try them out. The Untar helmet also allows you to hear with headphones so that is a big plus as well. Next we have M80. This is a very useful round. It can be put in things like the Vepper Hunter, but this round can pierce up to, I believe, four or five armor class, and I cannot tell you how many times I've been put down one tap by this thing, so just beware for this, and at $2, it's a very good round to be using. Lastly, I'd like to touch on the MSA helmet. This is an armor class four helmet, priced at $447. It's a little bit expensive, but just keep your eyes out for it as it has a lot of mounts and headphone slots. This is one of the most powerful early game helmets you'll be able to get your hands on. That concludes this guide. Please stay tuned and check out our Ragman portion of the series if you have not already. Please leave this video a like if you learned something new or you simply enjoyed your viewing experience. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get instant access to future content and to help support the channel. The better we can get videos like this doing, the better quality and quantity of content we'll be able to get out to each of you. Go ahead and follow us on social media at the links in the description and consider becoming a Patreon supporter to level up your game and streamline the growth of our community.